Gotta get roasted. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're doing today. We're doing some roasting and boasting. Uh, we're going to get to, I don't know, maybe 5 to 10, depending on how long each one takes, how much time we have. I'm going to try to keep this video like at the 40-minute mark. No, no, nothing over 40 minutes. That, that's what I'm going to try to keep it at, but I'm going to try to get to as many as possible. So we're going to jump into it right now. Well, actually, so uh, you know what? I, I just cleared um, stage 52. It was on autoplay. Um, solo with, with Falcon and he's got he's got a bad build he's got a it's just bad business I'll show you his build real quick just so you guys can see he's level 60 by the way if I could find this guy where are you did I just pass you man I hate looking for these characters uh, he is speed he's a speed demon dude where are you Falcon there you are all right, so his, his build here, he's got, I mean, he's got a, a, a legendary obelisk. He's got stage four, power of angry hulk. He's level 60, and, I mean, he's got he's got some Uru, right? But, yeah, so stage 52 is solo on, on, on auto on autoplay, and I wanted to get the Shadowland video out. Um, I wanted to get that out, like, like before this reset, but it's just, it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to work on Shadowland, like, right after the reset, so this way I'm set up, so where I can actually do the video, you know, before this next reset. You know, hopefully in the next few days, I know a lot of people asking for that. Um, but in any case, let's get to these, let's get to the roasting and boasting here. And first up, so, uh, Footlong Slinky, I choose you. Um, he's got the code word. So I actually, I, I took screenshots from like, you know, I'll take them every now and then. I'll see somebody who's asking to get their account roasted. I'll take a screenshot and it's already on my desktop. And, uh, and then, you know, I just pull it up when I'm ready to do these videos. So this is from videos, videos back. Um, he's got some code words in there when I was using the code words. Um, so he's got, he's got one, two, three, four, five. So he's watching multiple videos. He says, can you check out my moon Knight? It's rank four. I'm not sure what you mean rank four like the type enhancement is that what you mean but in any case let's pull so i have to admit i felt a little strange typing this man's ign in all right in any case let's uh let's look at his cards here i mean it looks like he's got really good cards you know from, from the looks of it let's see what he's got okay so this card man you're gonna want to re-roll this thing let's see how much cooldown you have you have you have more than enough cooldown where you could just not even worry about losing that cooldown there um, and you got 2% uh, Pierce on the card. You got all attack. You know, you got some ignore defense, crit damage, attack speed. I mean, you got really good stats on the card. You know, unfortunately, it's not all blue, but let's see what you got here. You got blue all attack, which should make rolling this card really easy. But you're in a little bit of a stipulation. If you're going to go for all blue, you, you, you know, there's a good chance you're going to lose that, that cooldown. And if you roll this card going for the, the attack stats, you, you know, there's a good chance, you know, you could lose the cooldown here. Losing both. That's, you know, you're going to lose, what, what, what is that, 16% uh, perhaps, you know, 15.7, about 16%. Yeah, you, you'd be far too low there. I would continue crafting, um, continue crafting this card, you know, hopefully, you know, I think on the next star is the cooldown. Hopefully you get cooldown on, you know, maybe one of these next cards here. And that's a good roll, it's a really good roll on the, the White Fox card. That's a really good roll on this card, you got max HP and the, uh, and the proc. And, you know, that's a decent roll. I'd probably, like, how much ignore, like, yeah, way too much ignore defense. You don't necessarily need the crit rate. I mean, I've been over this a lot of times where most characters now, they get a crit rate buff. Strangely enough, though, Rogue and X-23 didn't. That's really odd, but it's like every character for a long time, they've got that that juicy all attack, all defense, you know, speed, crit rate buff. Um, but I don't find crit rate re really valuable on your cards. I have, like, 8%, and I've, I've been doing just fine. And so you can lose the ignore. So essentially, you want both attack stats. I don't know if you like you like PVP. It doesn't seem like it because you have 17.7% max HP on your cards. Um, it's good you got both attack. I mean, your cards look really good. It look really good. Only advice I can give you is you know um, you're gonna have to make up some cooldown somewhere if you're gonna want cooldown. If you're gonna want all pierce on this card, and then you're gonna want you're definitely gonna want to reroll this card. Like you you don't have any of the good stats. Like you want at least one of the attack stats with a decent quality. I'd go for both. It looks like you're not hurting for, for premium cards, and I'd probably replace this one. You know, you got your cable. You got the um, the Avengers card. Um, you got the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy card. I'd probably go for the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that would be the best option to include in the set here uh, besides that card. So, yeah, I would, I would work on that. All right, 
Now let's see what you, what you got going on. So he's saying to look at his Moon Knight. Rank 4 Moon Knight. So he's got type enhancement 6. I'm not sure if that... Oh, he's saying he's he's rank 4. Okay, okay. He's got the he's got number 4 Moon Knight. Number four, He's got a brilliant. He's got a mighty with uh, his really good stats on a mighty. I like it. Um, I mean, your, your Moon Knight looks good, dude. Looks really good. See... I'm not really into the ranks, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to equip, like, an ISO 8 that has, like, the max, like, has, like, the 280 or the 281 there for the attack, because that's what you need if you want to get the high rank. Uh, I'm just not into it. I don't have ISO 8 like that to really be playing with, and I don't know. I just feel like it's it's way too costly for, like, what reward? Like, what are you getting from it? You're not getting anything. You're, you're getting some, you know, I got the rank 1 or, you know, whatever. And if that's your thing, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, he's stacked, man. I bet he does some serious work for you. Um, I mean, it looks like you're doing you're doing just fine. I don't think you really need my advice. I would definitely throw some Odin's blessings on her. Doctor Strange doesn't really seem to be needed. Like if you're hurting for CCF or tier three materials, you know, to to actually tier three them, um, I wouldn't really worry about them too much. Like I don't really use Doctor Strange. I see you probably care about ABX. You got her stacked, but you got Luna with a with a with a um, patience. Luna is going to be much more valuable for you in terms of ABX than Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel is meta for her day, but Luna you use on multiple days. Now, Rogue, she doesn't, you know, somebody actually asked me, Rogue doesn't score nearly as much as Luna. Like, I think I scored like 9.6 about with Luna and with Rogue. I just, I, I, I actually only ran her about once and I, I, I just exited out when I had about 10 seconds left. I think I was about 8.5. Um, Luna, you just power right through. You don't even cancel the, the, the last day. Um, for a silent season, you don't cancel. Um, for the day that she was just used. Rogue, you would cancel. And I use like Nick Fury, Shuri, and then Luna Snow, or, and then Rogue. And I was at about like 8.5 with like 10 seconds left. So she's, she's, she's far behind. Because all the increase, like I, I believe it's just after 7 million, it, it's, it's worth a lot more than like, like 100,000 points is equivalent to, I don't know, like three or 500,000, something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it's equivalent to yet, but it's more than just 100,000 points after 7 million. Um, what do you got on her? You got an obelisk on Sharon Roger. I bet that works fine. He's 200 proc, but getting energy on her, man. She's, she's one of my easiest and fastest clears. And then you got um, uh, um, Captain America kind of stacked up a little bit. Um, inside on Cyclops, I, I definitely, I'm a fan of that for sure. Um, I'll be swip, swapping Rage and Insight, depend, you know, on, on um, depending on the season for ABX that that I'll need um, Cyclops for. Um, it won't be for, I believe it's Burn season that that I. I had to cut the video. My dogs was barking. Somebody, uh, somebody had stopped by. All right, so where were we You're talking about um, Insight on Insight on Cyclops? I like that choice. Um, let's check out uh, some of your PVP characters. Good. I like the build there. Um, I like the build there. No attack, Odin's blessings. You got rage on on Sentry. Um, he he performs better with an energy. Um, even even with or without Pierce on your cards, you're you're getting more Pierce or you have Pierce, and I'm, I'm assuming that you're gonna have more Pierce right as as time progresses. Um, you know, Namor is like a thing of the past. I mean, you only have one Odin's blessing on him. You could probably rip that off. I, I would think. I really don't use him like at all. Even for DRX, I don't even use him there anymore. Really. Um, yeah, I, I put an energy on her. Um, in, in terms of like who to work on next, um, yeah, so, so you don't have, you don't have Ghost Rider, you don't have Cable, and you don't have Rogue, I mean, I'd say those three, you know, it, I'd probably, you know, if you, if you really want Null, I'd say maybe even get like, like Cable or Ghost Rider, and then work on Null, be just because they're so much, so much cheaper, right, so much more less expensive in terms of next Awakening characters, I mean, you have all, like, you have both of the supports, you have Moonstone, you have Moon Knight, and Beta Ray Bill, um, this guy, I, I don't know why you did him, um, but I would do like either Gambit or Bullseye would, would be my next choices for them. So I hope that helps you out, man. Let's uh, let's jump on to the next one here. All right, so um, uh, EQ says, please, can you roast me? Can I tier three Loki next? And can I craft my baby spider and white fox card? Um, and here's IGN. All right, let's pull up his account. All right, here we are. Elner01. Uh, and he's wondering if he could tier three Loki next and or uh, craft his baby baby spider and white fox card. All right, let, let's check out his cards first. Um, okay, so baby spider card. Um, honestly, I, I'd say like it, it, I okay, so in my card crafting video, I said like four or less quality, you want both the attack stats and then I would have at least one of the attack stats, you know, in above four quality. 
Um, so I, I'd say I, I, I'd, I'd re-roll that for sure. This one here, I'd re-roll this too. I mean, because you, you can have the attack stat and you can have the proc on it. You definitely want the proc on this card. That's one of its main value. The, the value of the White Fox and Luna proc, any proc that has the, the, the attack, the, like when attacking, is worth about 8% in, in attack. So you you want you want that the ones that are like like this one here the one that's on this card this Loki card um, when dealing a critical attack it's worth I think about um, about five or six I want to say so um, yeah I, I'd re-roll these I'd re-roll these and I'd re-roll that like you're you're missing some you're missing some vital stats on the cards and this one too I'd I'd re-roll all of them to be honest with you um, I mean your stats look decent though right you can you can use a little more physical attack your cooldowns on the lower side um and you know your attack speed's decent i get more crit damage too but yeah i'd i'd, I'd re-roll those i mean if, if you're like if you've been re-rolling cards um and you just want to start crafting like sure you could go ahead and, and start crafting either of these and then you know with with the idea that in the future you're gonna actually you know roll them because you can you can craft them and then you could roll them in the future you could do something like that, but me personally, I I I definitely I I at least roll them now or roll them after you craft them. I wouldn't let those stay the way they are. All right, so and he wants to know if he could tier three Loki. Um, I would not tier three Loki next. Like you don't have Ghost Rider, you don't have Century Finish, you don't have Null, you don't have um, uh, Cable, you don't have you know Rogue, you don't have Moonstone. And you don't have either of the support um, transcendent characters, Valkyrie and, um, and and Raven, and you don't have Cyclops either. Cyclops, he provides a great value um, when fighting Null just because of his leadership and his passive. Like, you get 65% um, for, like, like if you gave her the lead, she'd get 65% on that. And if you gave her Mystique or, or, um, or Valkyrie, that, that would make it, that would make, if you're not able to clear him now, that would make it clearing him possible. Um, and then what do you got on him? Okay, lane damage 160. I, I, if you don't have like a lot of CTPs, looks like you're either, you know, you're a newer player. Um, I, I, I mean, I take that energy off of Deadpool and I give it to either Sharon Rogers or even Beta Ray Bill. But I would, I would go for, I would start ranking up all lightning damage obelisks until you get one that's a 200 proc lightning damage, preferably double lightning damage 200 proc, and I'd give it to this guy. He should be able to. I, you know, I might even do a test. I might do do a testing where I take energy the, the energy i have off beta ray bill and put a double lightning damage proc if i can get a double lightning damage i know i have a 200 proc with just one lightning damage but if i can get one of those i will um i'll do that and just to see what the difference actually is so i can give better advice on this um and what do you got on this guy 180 proc crit rate okay um if his crit dam uh, what do you got on okay crit damage on the fourth gear um yeah i just i wouldn't i just wouldn't you know especially if you don't have a rage um, I, I, I can't see him performing well with a, with a proc. I just can't. So, um, yeah, if you have, so that this energy, I'd, I'd give it to either Sharon Rogers. I'd probably give it to Sharon Rogers. She, she'll, she'll do some work for you for sure. And I would get ghost rider. Um, yeah, sw swap that. And what do you got on this? You got energy on him? No way. Okay. So if you can, if you can afford the, uh, the Apple quest, quest pack, get moonstone, give that energy to her and, and or moon knight. Right, if you, if you can't give it to Moon Knight, but yeah, I take both these energies off, give it to Sharon Rogers and and Moon Knight, and then roll that, um, roll that, um, roll that Obelisk to get the 200 proc lightning damage. I'd say give it to Bay, one of the energies, Beta Ray Bill, but just because he can perform with with the uh, with lightning damage um, and and a high proc, that's why I'm saying that. And then yeah, of course, um, Ghost Rider, Cable's a good one, right? You can rank them up with feathers, so. Um, I would do that. Hopefully that helps you out, my guy. All right, moving on to the next. Next up, who is our lucky contestant? Drip SZN. He says, are the Dawn of X packs deals worth to buy and where? Where is it? Because I can't find in the store. So this is from this is from videos ago. I there I don't think they're available anymore. I'm not. I can't remember which one. You know, he's talking about. I don't know if he's talking about like like the the chest with the cards or, or whatnot. But those ones with the cards, if that is what it is. Um, those ones are worth, it, in my opinion. Um, all right, let's pull up this guy's account and see what he's working with. All right, here we are, Nady, Nady Boy's account. See what you got going on, Nady Boy. All right, whoa, okay, no premium cards. Um, looks like he's been playing for a while because he has this card here. 
Um, I mean, I mean, it looks like you definitely you need to work on your. You have no ignore defense. Am I in the right account? Is this the right account? N a t e y b o i i. I'm guessing this is the right account. Um, yeah, N a t e y b. -O okay, I just had to double check. All right, so it, you know, yeah, it looks like you've been playing for a while. Um, and you have both of the uh, anniversary cards, right? I, I don't have this one because I wasn't around for that, that this anniversary here. But um, so what you need to do is, okay, you need the, the cards have bonuses. Start ranking up. Every card that you don't have at six star, lock it once you get it and then rank it up, right? And then just keep doing that until you have all the free-to-play cards um, ranked up to six star. Like you need ignore defense. You have zero ignore defense, dude. Like that's a problem. That is a big, big problem. So get a card that, that has ignore defense and um, and and yeah, and, and equip it. There's a bunch of free to play cards that, that have it. Um, you could roll this one to have it where the dodge is here. There's there's a lot of cards. You you shouldn't have a problem doing that, but you definitely need to work on that. And as far as your characters, okay, I don't know, maybe, like I don't know, did you take a break or something? Like you you know, or, or like you're a very casual player here. Um, you know, you have Captain Marvel and Star Lord Tier Three. Like, yeah, you need, you need you need some work. Rank up Sharon Rogers. You have an energy on her, and you want to roll that with the 200 proc. So rank that up, and um, yeah, work on her. Um, work, get Ghost Rider. He's free to play. Uh, and and as far as transcending characters, you know, Moon Knight's a good one, right? You got him right. You got him level 60 here. You know, get Moon Knight. Um, finish the epic quest. Get Beta Ray Bill. I would I would work on that. That should keep that should keep you busy for a little while. All right, hope that helps you out. All right, next up, uh, this gentleman says so. Jazz, Jasmine, Ma okay, I'm not I'm not even try it. All right, he says thank you so much for the tips and explanation. I missed a lot in game. I wasn't active much in 2019, 2020. If you can look at my roster, uh, you probably haven't seen. You probably haven't seen it. We all have a lot of work to do in real life, and it's understandable. Um, so if you can send me a few words to help me for 2021 and shortcoming, I plan to make up for. Uh, thanks again. Be safe, Zilla. Thank you, my friend. Um, all right, let, let's pull up your account. Let, let's see what we can do to help you out. And here we are, Silken Quaresma, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, so let's see what he's got going on. So he said he he he, uh, he was a player for a while. He, he took a break, and okay, so he hasn't started crafting anything. He's got four um, four premium cards. This one I would reroll, right? Right? You just you want the attack stats. I mean, you know, you have 90% max HP. I'm guessing you're not like huge on on PvP. Um, I mean, your your stats look pretty good. Like they look good. You got good cards here, but like like okay, how much cooldown do you have? So you could afford to lose this cooldown. I'd roll this card. Like I know it's quality seven, but you don't you don't have any of the any of the attack stats. Like essentially, you want them with both the attack stats. You got see this is like the perfect roll on this card for quality, which is which is totally fine, totally fine. Um, and yeah, you have a lot of a lot of attack speed. Um, and this is this is a really good roll on this card too. I mean, I probably I'd keep that, keep that, roll this and roll that. And then obviously you're gonna have to replace this, right? Like this isn't the best card. It, it's it's definitely. It's it's a card that you can include in your set and be okay. Um, it's it's just it's not the best one. It's a, it's adding a lot of uh, energy attack. It's just, it's just missing the physical attack is is basically what it is. Um, but yeah, you're you're definitely gonna have to uh, you know replace this one at some point. You know, start crafting. I'd start crafting this cable card first and foremost, and and then um, you know you're gonna want to roll these. I mean, you probably can go ahead and craft this if you don't have a whole lot of options. You can go ahead and craft the cable card, craft this one, roll this one. Roll that one, and I'm just going to have to swap that one out. I mean, it has a pretty good roll, but, you know, it's got some decent stats on it that are usable. It's got the uh, the HP proc when dodging. It's the same as the Gwenpool card. But, yeah, it's not it's not a premium card, so you can't craft it. All right, let's see what we got going on. Authority on um, on Sentry. I don't like that at all. Um, destruction on, on Quicksilver. I mean, okay. Um, but I believe he has Penetration on, on his kit. Same with... Same with uh, Silver Surfer. He's got penetration on the third for like, I think like 10 seconds or something like that. So when you hit the third, you have that penetration for that whole whole entire time. So you don't necessarily need that. It's like basically having a guard break, crit damage, uh, proc. 
Like, what, what, okay, you, I mean, you got him rolled right, which is good, and then authority on Thanos. I mean, both these characters for PvP would perform much better with, with regens. I know you can't just, you know, snap your fingers, right? Like like Thanos with the gauntlet and you have one appear. And you got authority on her as well with all these Odin's blessings. No, I do not like that at all. Definitely, you know, look look to take those off her. And energy on Doctor Strange, that's a no bueno as well. Other players. So, like, I'd probably, like, okay, if, if you don't need Sentry to be, like, you know, performing at his best for PvP, right? If it's not a regen, I definitely put the energy that you have on Doctor Strange on Sentry. And what do you got going on here? Okay, so and all these Odin blessings on Namor, like he's just not used anymore. Same with Magneto. He's a thing of the past. And uh, um, destruction on uh, Professor X, I can't see that working all that well. I'd give him just like mind damage 200 proc. I think that would work much better than, than that, 100% and um okay energy on captain america i think you like he can work with one but you can get much more value out of it and i like i like the regen on hulk he he's i mean that's the best ctp for him and he's uh he, he's a monster he is an absolute pvp monster he is meta for for alliance tournament as it is so okay so you got rage on on her like strange could benefit much more from that rage um, but like, I don't know. He's just like, he, I, I don't, I don't use him anymore. I, I, I don't hear many people actually using him. So I'm sure somebody else can, can make better use of that. But you, you have a lot of Odin's blessings on PVP characters. I would take those off. Okay. Energy on winter soldier. I don't like that either. Just cause I mean, okay, th there's a show coming out. So maybe he's going to get something right. It's a possibility judgment on ghost rider. I actually like that. And you got a really good obelisk on Thor. I mean, I'd probably even just leave that, right? Um, and you got a good obelisk on this guy, but he can he can definitely benefit more from the uh, from one of those energies, 100%. Um, you know, all that chain hit damage. So, like, yeah, you got one here. You got one on Captain America. Like, he's just not used for anything. You got all these old blessings on characters that, you know, like, I don't know, stack up Sentry, right? Throw that energy on him. He'll do some work for you. Um, and then, uh, you know, you got... Okay, and then, like, we're Sharon Rogers. Where'd she go? Do you have Sharon? You do. Yeah, right here. You just don't have her new uniform. Indefinitely. Oh, my God. So, Transcendence on her? No way. Put one of those energies on her, right, from one of those characters, and give her those Odin's blessings. And get her new uniform. She is an um, absolute monster. Get Moonstone and throw one of those other energies on her, right? You got them on, you know, Winter Soldier, Doctor Strange, Captain America, and there might have even been another one. But you got some, you got some to, you know, during like the 50% off on equipment event, if you can afford it, definitely do that. And, um, and, 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 you know, like I said, disperse the Odin's blessings that you have on the characters that aren't just used or if you're using them for PVP, um, yeah, put them on characters that you use for PVE, just some of the metas and finish the epic quest, get beta ray bill too. He's a monster and get the support characters, Valkyrie and, and Raven work on those too. And get Cable for Tier 3. He'd be one of my next um, characters that, that I rank up for Tier 3 along with possibly uh, Rogue there. All right, brother. I hope that helps you out. All right, next up here, um, Daniel B says, You skipped over my account, uh, Rose, because I didn't catch your code word. Sorry about that, bro. I really could use some help. Like I said before, I unequipped a bunch of CTPs and I've been hoarding uh, Tier 3 mats. I could use some advice uh, as to where to put them. Also, my cards kind of suck. All right, let's pull up this man's account and see what he's got going on. And here we are, Android Dan's account. Let me pull this down here. And let's see. Okay, so let's look at his cards first and foremost, as per the usual, we usually do. Okay, first and foremost here, um, don't, you know, just craft the card straight through. Like, you could have had that one star, right? That potentially could have been a blue star on this card here. It said you went ahead and started crafting this one for whatever reason. I do not know why. You should have, you should have, like plentiful cubes right it doesn't cost more cards to get that last star it just costs more cubes and you haven't been crafting so in like nobody should really be hurting for cubes at this point like you should have you should have a lot like i have a lot of cubes and i've done a lot of crafting and uh so here right you're gonna want to re-roll this you want the proc on it that's all you higher quality with proc like at least four quality with the proc i'd say for this luna card um, and then this card, like this actually has a, a good roll on it. Like I'd say you probably, you could go ahead and start crafting that for sure. And obviously you're going to have to replace these here. Like that's actually a decent roll on it. 
you know, you're missing the proc though. This isn't this isn't a bad roll either. And that's actually I, I actually had this card. So this Loki card and this Captain America. Uh, no, I actually yeah for a little for a, a, a short time I had this one equipped. But I'm uh, the uh, the other Civil War one I had equipped. But yeah, you just you need more you need more premium cards, dude. Um, yeah, I mean all your stats look good. Um, so you want to keep things at like at least at, like where they're at now like your attack speed You know crit damage well crit damage is low can't get really much lower than that and your uh, you know ignore defense and cooldown I wouldn't fall any below that, but Yeah, just need more more premium cards reroll that Luna card and you should be able to keep that that Loki uh, Premium card where it is. Um, okay. I did not want to go there. We want to go here. Okay, so um, Yeah, Scarlet Witch. Uh, hopefully she's getting something. I mean she performed, you know, decent for me when i swapped that rage for du for judgment so i don't know maybe hold off on doing anything to her just because um you know she may be getting something hopefully she does hopefully quicksilver gets something too um i like the rage on on this guy you got Odin's blessings on him um that's awesome i like that and yeah maybe you maybe you had a rage on him and you took it off i'm guessing that's what you did that's one of the um ctps that you've been hoarding and i i wouldn't even be concerned about putting it back on him i just wouldn't and uh, this guy, I mean, Cyclops, he's, he's go with insight, in my opinion. And uh, Professor X, I don't know where you're using him, but like, I don't use Professor X for really anything. Um, I will be, you know, I'm sure sooner or later I'll be swapping Rage for Judgment back on Professor X to see how he can do for Null. But I mean, I, I like energy for for Carnage. Um, I know he can perform with one, and he's got he, he's got a lot of damage on his fifth skill. So I'm guessing like he, that probably that probably drains some bars, right? And, uh, okay, I mean, this build's fine. You Maybe you just needed the more, you know, ignore defense. That's why you put that Odin's Blessing on him. But, I mean, I'd probably put that just a regular ignore defense on Hulk because he doesn't benefit from the physical attack, which another character actually could. And Odin's Blessing on him, no bueno. I don't like that. And, um, okay, so Sharon Rogers. Yeah, throw some, some of those Odin Blessings. Like, you have some on Doctor Strange that he doesn't even have a CTP on, right? Like Scarlet Witch, like I said, we're going to wait on that. If she doesn't get anything, I'd definitely take those throw them on um throw them throw them on Sharon Rogers and this Odin blessing like that's not doing anything unless she has unless she has a rage and using her for for ABX that's not doing anything for her and this guy yeah you know I mean you got a decent obelisk on him but you know rule of thumb don't put Odin's blessings on a character that you don't have a CTP on that that that's like the golden rule there and you got a good obelisk on him I mean maybe besides beta ray build depending on how well he actually performs with that obelisk I just don't know exactly yet. And Moon Knight. So if you have, if you have like, you know, um, so let, let's see exactly what, what your comment said. You just say, you just say you have a bunch of CTPs. So put an energy on on Moon Knight for for one. I'd probably I'd probably put an energy on Beta Ray Bill too, um, unless you like you don't have a lot of them to go around, right? We've had this discussion about the the lightning damage proc on Beta Ray Bill already, and I put an energy on him. I definitely finish Cable. Finish, um, where's, do you have, yeah, finish Ghost Rider, throw, uh, uh, Judgment or a Rage on him, and, um, you know, even finish Rogue. If you have, a, if you have a Judgment, throw that on Rogue, I'd finish her off. Um, Gambit's really good for an Awakened character, like, who are you missing? So, I'd get Valkyrie in, 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 um, in Raven, they're, like, they're, they're, uh, so valuable for Null. Just because of the supports, they're, they're very valuable for Null, so I'd finish, I'd finish them. You know, put the CTPs on the characters that I just that I just mentioned, um, and then Gambit's, uh, you know, Gambit and Medusa, they're they're both good. They could both bring value to your account as well. So that should keep you busy for a little while. Venom is now ABX meta, so you know it wouldn't be all for naught for. But you know what? If you have a better build on Moon Knight, um, and you know you put an energy on him, and you don't have like a whole lot of materials to go around. Um, you know, Moon Knight can can score very high for ABX as well. So maybe you don't want to finish Venom. Um, I'll be doing the Battle of the Symbiotes for one of the next videos. So we'll see exactly where he stacks up, like in terms of Null and Carnage. Uh, actually, Carnage, Null, Venom, and Gwenom. If I can get to Gwenom, I should be able to. Um, they all have Rage on, so it's an equal comparison for, for all of them. All right. Uh, I hope that helps you out, my guy. Let's see who is up next. Uh, so, uh, this guy says, uh, you are one of the most insight, insightful Marvel Future Fight YouTubers out there. Keep doing what you do best. I like your videos a lot. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Can you roast my account for a future account roasting video? He's giving me his IGN. He's saying, I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh, let's pull up this man's account. Let's see what we can do. 
All right, here we are, uh, Talkins. We're at Talkins' account. All right, here are his cards. And, okay, first and foremost, right, you know what I'm going to say. Don't craft one star or, or multiple stars on each card. Just finish one card straight through. That's what you want to do. And, I mean, that has a decent real, like, you got the proc at least. You got cooldown, but, you know, you're going to come to find, as you start crafting all your cards, that um, you're going to have too much cooldown. And the all attack on this card would be more valuable. To be honest, I'd probably roll that at some point in the future just to get the all attack on it and the proc. And then this, I mean, that's actually a really good roll on this card, right? Seems like you like PvP or a PvP-focused player, just from the look at your cards. And then this, I definitely re-roll this. I mean, like, give crit damage, ignore defense, and, and all defense. Um, you're Like I said, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of these secondary stats once you're done crafting your card. So the attack stats and the max HP are be going to become more valuable. It's going to be, like, the only thing that's actually going to push your account further right and that's actually a really good roll on this card i probably i would have i would have crafted this one right because i'm i believe in place of that energy attack proc it's either it, it, it's um it's physical attack so you can't have the proc and both attack stats so that's like the best role you could have on this card i mean i think the mind resist could be ignore defense but i don't think you're going to need that moving forward and obviously you're going to want to replace that but yeah, don't 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 craft. I mean, okay, I, I see what you're doing. You were you were going for the max HP. You wanted the max HP as soon as possible. I see, I see. Okay, so okay, I mentioned that before. That kind of makes sense, right? If you're look just looking to get an edge on, you know, in some AC or timeline or whatever. So um, that kind of makes sense. But typically, you don't want to do that. Um, okay, so you have some some mighty uh, regens, and you have so you know I've mentioned this that you know the uh, attack Odin's Blessings don't, um, you know, they, they, they will prove to be much more useful on a character that um, they use for PvE. And I'm guessing the same thing here. Yep, you got the same thing there. And you got the Mighty Regen with um, the Penetration. And by the way, the Penetration is better than the All Attack. I have, I have a couple of them with the All Attack on them. And I'll probably, I've been rolling my, my Mighty Energy, so I haven't had a chance to uh, roll those quite yet. That's why they're, they're the way they are. Um, but yeah, the penetration is, is better. I guess you got one on him too. Yep, you got the penetration as well. And good, I like his build. I like his build a lot. I got greed on him. Yeah, you're v definitely a PvP fo or yeah PvP focused player. Okay, you got um some some decent a decent build on Sharon Rogers. And what do you got here? What do you, let's uh, breeze through this greed on B Black Widow. I like that a lot. Um, so I think one of my next videos what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tier three Spider Man and I'm gonna see if he can beat Null. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Tier 3 Spider-Man um, put, putting a smackdown on Null. All right. Uh, and Judgment on this guy. I like that. Uh, but, yeah, you know, disperse your Odin's Blessings a little little bit better. You're working on Sentry. You're definitely going to want, if, like, if you like PvP, you're going to want Sentry. And you're going to want to put one of those mighty uh, regens on that guy for sure. Uh, and, okay, so Rage on him, not bad, not bad. You don't have any Pierce yet, so I'm guessing that that's good. Rage on that guy. I mean, energy works better for both of them, to be completely honest. And, you know, you could probably put those Rages on somebody else that would work better with the Rage. And Greed on this guy, I, I can see why you do that. And Authority on her, I don't know. I don't like Authority on her. Like, right now, it's either, like, it's either Greed or, you know, a, a might, you know, a Forged Regen. It seems like what's actually going to work best for her. And uh, so, you know, who don't you? So Cable, I'd get Cable. Um, you know, it, you know, like I say, if you like PvP, you know, Rogue could be a good addition. Also, obviously, Finish Sentry. Um, and, you know, you're going to want the, uh, you know, like if you're trying to beat Null, you're going to want the support. You're going to want Valkyrie and Raven. Get Moonstone, for Christ's sakes. Get her. All right, man, that should keep you busy for a while. Um, not too shabby, though. Not too shabby. Who do we got next? Um, okay, uh, ZI says, Good sir, can you please see my account i need some help i have only two clears of no love your account in your video stay safe everyone well thank you very much as i am let's uh, let's pull up your account and let's see if we can get you a third clear or even a fourth clear so here we are we're at Zayam islam's account if i'm pronouncing that correct all right what do we got going on all right so we started crafting this baby spider card is that a good idea not not a bad roll he's got energy attack cooldown and max hp okay I'd re-roll this for sure. I'd maybe re-roll that, depending on how, on how hurt you are. That's actually a decent roll. And that's an okay roll as well. But, you know, this card isn't isn't necessarily the best card. I'd, lo I'd look to replace this one. 
and you know like if you got luna white fox gardens of the galaxy or you know the avengers card you know any one any one of those cards if you're you know pve focused i mean you got a decent amount of max hp but you got it here yeah um so i you know i don't know we'll look at your account we'll see you know how focused in pvp you actually are but other than that your stats look you know they look pretty good you're you're very low on the attack speed though thing is crit rate and crit damage can, can always be made up rather easily attack speed though when i had low attack speed i found it very difficult to to, to get my attack speed up i was always sacrificing something so um i do that and okay let's see what we got going on here so uh guard break so maybe you are a little pvp and okay so that's no bueno man okay if you don't have like a regen for this guy or, or even an authority or, or even greed i would get um i would do uh guard break and invincibility and he, like guard break max hp and invincibility would probably be the best for this guy but yeah you, you like i don't even know what that is i don't know what that's doing for you and you got all these blessings on him no way no way uh, what do you got on this guy? Okay, so so yeah, you want something like this. You want something exactly like this for Silver Surfer. It's a little low on the uh, the, the time for the invincibility, but you know it's be better than nothing. Better than nothing. Uh, okay, energy on her. I like it. Be, um, get that with the max proc though. That'll do much better for you. And okay, you got destruction on her. What do you got on this judgment on um, on Ghost? And with a really good wow, that's an excellent roll on that judgment, man. That's like the perfect roll. Um, and yeah, I like the build on him. What do you got on this guy? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, if you don't have a Judgment of Rage on, on Thor, I wouldn't put any Odin's Blessings on him. Obviously, you're going to want to finish off Sentry. Null, you know, could possibly wait, depending on, you know, how many uh, materials and, and whatnot you have. But yeah, okay, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Um, his build's good. And I like the, uh, I like the, C or the, um, the Obelisk on him. So, um, and it looks like, yeah, you probably you know maybe do some some ac right you got the you got the guard break with the proc on her but yeah finish off finish off cable let's see who else you mean okay you know you know what i'm gonna say the, the 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 supports for null valkyrie and raven they add so much value um who else are you missing yes all right so I, i'd say my top three for you for tier three would be you know sentry odin and cable and for transcendent characters would be like moonstone um valkyrie and raven just because of the uh supports there so ladies and gentlemen i think that's it i think that's going to conclude our video um i think we're we're nearing the uh the, the time that i wanted to keep this under here plus i actually i got i gotta finish um where is it let's go to shadow how much time we got we got one hour and two minutes. i gotta finish shadowland and i got some things i gotta do so um i'll be auto in shadowland for um yeah i don't i don't like that stage we're gonna okay um yeah we'll we'll do this stage here uh but yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed it um i'm gonna try to do one of these like once a once a week like maybe once every seven videos or so i'll throw one of these in there and uh sooner or later we should we should get to everybody and don't worry i'm, st I'm still trying to get to streaming the thing is this I want to be able to do it like I'm gonna have like a schedule set like like uh, at least like two or three days a week where you know it's like maybe two or three hours um, I'm doing a stream and I can basically commit to doing it on those days so you know it's not just really helter skelter and I'm just saying you know 10 minutes before uh, you know throwing a message on discord saying I'm saying I'm gonna stream um, so this way more people you know are able to join they can kind of maybe plan a little bit in their schedule and so on and so forth so I did not forget about that. But in any case, there's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and if I didn't get your account, don't fret. You know, just leave your IGN and, and you know, I could possibly, could, there'll be a good, good possibility I can get you in the next one. So in any case, my friend, you stay safe out there. You stay tuned. But most of all, you stay breezy. I did that wrong, but it's okay. Peace.